me again, welcome back to X Amelia X. So today we're going to be doing a very exciting video and that is a haul video! My favourite kind of videos to film and your favourite videos to watch, so I've been told. Now I haven't done a haul video for absolutely ages, mostly because well, I haven't really bought any new stuff. Um, for those of you who follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at X Amelia X, if you don't then go do it now, um, we'll know that last week I was in Croatia um, and the trip was hosted by ASOS and Croatia Wave and Slides and ASOS gave me and another blogger an opportunity to go and discover Croatia and see the country and do loads of amazing things which I cannot wait to tell you about. There's going to be blog posts on xmediarex.com and also vlogs coming your way hopefully very soon um, and we did loads and loads of wonderful things but because we worked with ASOS they gave us some gift vouchers so we could buy lots of lovely clothes to wear while we are out there and I thought what a better time to do a haul because I've got loads of new clothes and you guys like to see them. So today we're going to be talking through all the clothes that I bought for Croatia. Um, ASOS gave me £200 to spend so all of this came to under £200. Um, yeah and I've got some really lovely things so I hope you like them, let's get started. So first of all I got a top that's going to be really difficult to show you on camera because A it's black and B um, it's kind of got loads of splits in that you probably won't be able to see but it's this um, see, almost see-through kind of um, lightweight top. It's got short cap sleeves, it's got a v-neck, so it looks like a t-shirt on the top but it goes all the way down. It's like, I'd probably say it just comes above the knee but, and it looks like a dress from the front but actually it's got two giant splits in the side if you can see that. I don't know if you can. Yeah, there you go. You see the two big splits at the side which come all the way up to just under your bra line um, so that means that you can like slip a sneaky leg out um, and you've got one at the other side as well and I wore this with a pair of denim jeans, oh not denim jeans, denim shorts which I also got from ASOS a high-waisted pair of ripped denim shorts. So that was one of my outfits that I wore. I really like this um, black top, but I'm not really sure what else it would go with apart from shorts, because it does just look like a dress, like a cover-up dress from the front. Um, but actually, if you've got shorts on, you kind of like see them through the splits at the side, which is really, really nice. Um, but it's very, very comfortable. I got it in a size... Got it in a size 10. It's probably a little bit too small across the booby area because I've gone up a size recently. <laughs> Thanks for that food and booze. Um, so I would probably say that because it doesn't stretch at all, make sure you get the right size. Um, but it's really light and airy and it's lovely and floaty for the daytime. And then these shorts are so damn comfortable. They're amazing. They're kind of like high waisted, but they're really quite short. Um, and they've kind of like got a faded denim look. They're probably a little bit lighter than what I would normally go for in my denim. I like really dark indigo denim normally. Um, but I just really like the fact that they were ripped and they had the little turn-ups at the bottom. And they've kind of like got a little bit of stretch to them so they're just so comfy. And they're really nice for like when you're walking out and about and if you go for lunch or something. And um, you're not going to be squeezed into like a super, pint, uh, super tight non-giving pair of shorts. Absolutely love those. They're from... Noisy May, that's the brand for those, so if you want to find those on the ASOS website. And this top is a new look one, I think. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's not. It's just a normal ASOS top, so yeah, like a long line black one. But um, if you want to see me wearing all of these, I think I've got snaps of them on my Instagram. And also there'll be some snaps of me wearing the outfits in my blog post as well. So um, come and follow me on Blog Loving. It'll be the easiest way to keep up with my blog. I'll pop a link down below. Uh, just come and follow my blog on there. Or follow me on Twitter at xameliax. And then you won't miss my posts when they go live. I got a pair of really cool sunglasses as well actually. But I don't think I actually wore them on my trip in the end. Because I thought they were a little bit small for my face. I don't know. With my hair down, I think they look really cool, but when I've got my hair scraped up, which I had to while I was over there because it was just so damn hot, and this amount of hair in the heat, not good. Um, but they're like little black cat eyes, and then they've got these gold little triangles on the side. I really like them, so I'll definitely be wearing those, um, probably in England where it's not as hot as Croatia. <laughs> um, but I got those, I think they're about £11. They're really cheap. ASOS sunglasses are amazing, by the way. Um, they're really not that bad either for like the lenses keep the sun out but they're super super cheap so if you sit on them it's not the end of the world. I always say that but I don't think I've ever actually sat on a pair of sunglasses, touch wood. Um, so yeah maybe I should start buying more expensive ones but when they're that cheap and that pretty why bother? Okay, so next is another black item. Um, I feel like I should have been wearing maybe lighter colours because it's summer, um, but I really, really loved this. Again, you probably won't be able to see it because it's black, but it's just a really simple jersey maxi dress and the 
top is just like a, a ruched sweetheart neckline. Hopefully the camera is picking this up, I can't really see. Um, but it's like a ruched sweetheart neckline um, bandeau. Uh, and then it literally just goes straight down all the way to the floor. Proper, really stretchy, really comfy maxi dress. Um, and I got this in a size 10, which was absolutely perfect. because It's got like a stretchy panel at the back. And it was just super comfortable to either put on around the pool or also put on. I wore it at night time one time as well. I think it was on the last night I wore it. And it's just so comfortable. Really lightweight because it's jersey. Um, hides any food babies, which is also really good because the Croatian food was on point um, and yeah I just think it's a real st uh, holiday summer staple um, and it's really not that expensive because it's it's just a jersey fabric basically um, but I really really liked this uh, yeah and I wore it with just like a, a long kind of really dainty necklace and it looked ever so elegant and really pretty and just with some sandals as well um, I think this was about £18 but definitely be wearing this again you could even wear this in the summertime as well in England um, it's just really simple and elegant and I loved it and it's also a really good length because I'm five foot seven so sometimes I find that maxi dresses maybe don't go all the way to the floor this one's the absolute perfect length so if you're a tall girl get on ASOS for your maxis Oh, some colour! Um, so this is probably one of my favourite pieces that I actually got. Um, this is a new look skirt that was sold by ASOS and it's like a faux suede midi mini skirt. Oh, it's so pretty! It's got little popper buttons that go all the way down the middle. Whoop. Um, and it's super super short so do be warned ladies if you are a little bit self-conscious I feel like I can always get away with a, a shorter skirt when I'm on holiday than I can in the UK don't know how that works but there you go uh, leave me a comment below if you also feel the same um, so but this is absolutely gorgeous it kind of sits quite high um, and like I said it is quite short um, but then it's got buckle holes as well so you can pop a belt around it and I just wore it with this little white cami if I can show you here inside out because I have washed all of these because <laughs> I wore them all when I was in Croatia and it was so hot they got rather sweaty so I had to wash them that's attractive maybe not tell the whole internet that Amelia note to self um so this is what I wore it with it's a really cute little um v-neck cami uh it's just an ASOS one as well uh really pretty quite short um but it's not like a crop top it is like a full length um top and I just thought this went really well with I just tucked it into that and wore it as a super super casual um holiday outfit it has it did have lots of um sun cream stains on it because i use that piz buin stuff the one that helps to tan you not that you'd know because i'm not that tanned anymore but hey um so it did have some stains on it i was really worried when i got home that they wouldn't come out but they've come out hip hip hooray um but i really loved it it's really floaty really nice and it sits um very flatteringly on the chest on the chesticle area um, but I loved it it is a little bit see-through though so um, another blogger that I went with Amy from Salt and Chic um, she introduced me to the wonderful world of nipple covers like nipple sticker things never even knew they existed um, and they are my now new best friend so yeah you probably can't get away with a bra with this because the straps are super super thin uh, but if you invest in some nipple covers from eBay, thanks very much Amy for the top tip, uh, you will get away with wearing this. So there you go. <laughs> Practical nipple tips from X Amelia X. But I absolutely love this skirt. This is my favourite, favourite of the lot. And I think I might wear this tonight, actually. I'm going out tonight uh, for Joe's daddy's birthday. So I think I might wear this. But I love it. Um, but yeah, be warned, it is a little bit short. Another black item. So this is um, my staple little uh, little black dress. So this is really confusing to show you, especially because black doesn't pick up that well on the camera. But this has got two um, shoulder straps that go over here, and then it's got this strap, which is a halter neck that goes over. So actually, it's a halter neck dress, but it's got the shoulder straps as well. So it gives you like a really interesting look. I can't put this over my head because I'll never get it back off, and it will be embarrassing on camera. Um, but then that goes down into a super deep V. This is gorgeous. This dress is. I really really liked it. Um, but not not to worry because it's super v-neck on the top it is a midi length so you're not exposed all over uh, so yeah it is a little bit booby but you do get covered on the bottom I really love this it's such a staple dress and it's got like a jersey kind of feel to it so even though it's quite thick you, so you can get away with not wearing a bra and not having to worry about woo -woo, nipples um it's actually okay to to wear it doesn't kind of feel like you're a, in a straight jacket it's very very comfortable to wear um, i'm not sure if i got a snap of this or not um 
I don't think I did so keep an eye on Instagram because I'll be wearing this again later next month for um, when Joe and I go out for our little anniversary which would be very nice um, but yeah it's a lovely little dress and if you're looking for a little an LBD for your wardrobe definitely check out this one because it's gorgeous Next is a super simple outfit, but probably one of my favourite of the evening outfits that I wore. It's just uh, an olive green midi jersey skirt. So we've all seen one of those before. We know what they look like. Um, and then this absolutely beautiful white um, bardo top. <gasps> How cute is that? So it's got a lovely little sweetheart neckline and tiny little um, cap sleeves that kind of just sit here and then go down your arm and then it's a crop top length but it's not too cropped um, so if you wear it with something high waisted you can just see a little bit of tummy um, and that's just about enough for me uh, but I wore this on the night that we went to Fresh Island Festival and uh, we got picked up on a speedboat which was pretty damn awesome so we arrived at this festival on a personal speedboat hair everywhere it was a nightmare for the hair but it was very good for the street cred um, so there are lots of pictures on my Instagram of me wearing this outfit on a speedboat um, so make sure you go and check that out because it's such a lovely outfit together because this is high waisted this is cropped it just shows a little bit of belly in the middle and then I just had um, a brown skinny belt on with it and some flat sandals loved it absolutely loved this outfit and um, I can't wait to wear this again but do you ever have that problem where you get taken a f someone takes a photo of you in a really nice outfit and puts it all over the internet and then you feel like you can't wear it again for ages because you've already been photographed in it <laughs> feel like I'm gonna have to save that for a bit but can't wait to wear that again loved it and last but not least on the actual clothes front is this beautiful denim skirt um, it's kind of like a midi always oh, very creased I have washed this that's the reason why <laughs> clearly haven't done my ironing um, I think this is a yeah this is just an ASOS denim one uh, it really doesn't have that much give in it so do be careful with the sizes I went for a bigger size in the size 12 um, and that fits perfectly um, so it's not like you don't have to go up a size but if you are in between sizes like me go for the bigger one um, um, it's got these lovely kind of copper buttons all the way down the front, similar to, to the um, suede skirt, but this is just a little bit longer. So it kind of comes just above the knee for me, and um, maybe just a little bit below the knee actually. Um, yeah, so it's a very, very respectable length, <laughs> um, and it's a lovely kind of um, deep blue wash. There's quite a few on there at the moment, and I was torn between a number of them, but I really, really like this one, and I'm glad that I bought it. On the back, it's just got your jeans pockets, and yeah, it's a very cool, very 90s, and we love it lots. I also picked up some new sandals um, because when I was in Greece the other month I realised that the sandals that I was wearing were very very comfortable but I bought them in shoe about six years ago and I haven't changed them so I feel like I felt like I was in need of some new sandals so I got these um, and these are made from ASOS or these are made by ASOS and they are absolutely beautiful little put them the right way around that would really annoy me if I was watching this um, they are filthy wow okay um, these are like little plaited leather sandals and then they've got um, a strap that goes around the back of your foot and an ankle strap so they are super cute really like them and so so comfortable and I've got quite wide feet but these fit me really nicely so I like those um, and then I got these as well from a brand called Glamorous uh, which are obviously also on ASOS um, and I just love them because they have the little tassels on look how cute they are OMG they're all tangled but look look how cute they are I love them and they're like rose gold with plaited um, straps around the toe and across the foot in a t-bar kind of shape and then that goes around your ankle they're so cute and really comfortable as well but they're very very thin so if you're doing a lot of walking do be warned that your feet might ache at the end of it but um, yeah I really like those they're very very pretty and last but not least um, more shoes one of our other sponsors on the trip uh, was a company called slides and they make these um, pretty interesting sandals who uh, are also stocked on ASOS so we were pretty much all wearing these throughout our week um, in Croatia and oh my god they are the most comfortable shoes in the history of the world ever when I first saw them I wasn't really sure about them I have to say I have to be honest but when they dropped through my door I thought do you know what I really like these. Now I have four <laughs> pairs of slides now, um, but I'm not going to show you all of them because it would be really boring. Uh, but the other pair I've got are just a plain white pair and a plain black pair. But I also have these very funky ones as well. So uh, these are black with palm prints on and these are white with silver bits on. Um, and they look massive, they look really chunky, but they're kind of, I don't know if you can see on camera, but they're kind of moulded to your feet. So when you put your feet in them, your toes kind of sit in the bottom bit and they are so damn comfortable they feel like they're kind of made of a squishy polystyrene almost but we wore these for the whole 
well, five, four or five days that we were there. We went trekking up a mountain in them, we swam in the sea with them, we went across a national park and uh, plodded around in some waterfalls in them, and they are still in top notch quality. Um, is that even a phrase, top notch quality? It is now. And I also went to a spa the other day and I took these with me and plodded around the spa in them all day and they're just so damn comfortable. Um, but they come in so many different styles and sizes, they do men's as well. Uh, since they turned up Joe was like, oh, I really like those. Uh, and we're going on holiday in September to Crete uh, and he was like, I'm going to buy some for around the pool. So he's got two pairs as well. <laughs> so we're just like a walking advert for slides. Um, but they're really comfortable. So uh, if you want to get some new snazzy shoes, you can find these on ASOS. Uh, and they've got loads of different styles as well. But they're so damn comfortable. So damn comfortable. And so easy as well. Like I find, because I normally just take a cheap pair of flip flops from Primark on holiday with me for around the pool. But I find that when you're like really hot and sweaty and you're trying to get your foot in the little um thong bit that goes between your toes it just never happens whereas these literally live up to their name and you just slide your foot in and off you go to the bar perfect there we go guys that is my asos haul i hope you enjoyed watching it it's been a long time since we did one of these and it's been so fun showing you all the stuff that i got for croatia don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe if you are new there'll be lots more videos coming your way hopefully more some more hauls but definitely those uh, croatia vlogs I haven't even looked at my footage yet i'm really excited to have a look and have a play around that's my job for tomorrow um yeah and then lots of lots of videos coming your way very soon i have some super 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 exciting news for you which I'm going to be revealing next week next Friday and maybe uh, next Saturday or Sunday on here so if you want to find out first come and follow me on Twitter at xamediax and you will be first to know um, I really can't wait to tell you so there's going to be lots more videos coming your way um, yeah leave me a comment down below let me know your favorite item from this haul mine was the suede skirt or the denim skirt or the white bardo top, or the slides. I can't decide. Let me know your favourite item. Leave me a comment down below. Um, but yeah, that is it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. You listening? Can you pass me that ASOS box? Please. Oh, you look very done up on the top half. Where are your PJs? Shh, it's a trade secret. Is it filming? Them? Got my PJs on on the bottom. <laughs> Everybody does it. I think. Are you ready? Uh, do I look ready? Well, we've got five minutes. Until five. I can shower and get ready in five minutes.